Um, we'll get Addy Altian. Are you here at the moment to present Project Apollo? Yes. Uh, hi, guys. Can you see me? Yeah, let me share the screen. Uh, all right. Hang on a second. Give me a second. Can you guys see the screen? Yeah, I can see it. Cool. Uh, so hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Adi Olten. I'm a volunteer for uh, Project Apollo. Uh, and uh, I've been working with a few people uh, for the last year or so. Uh, we didn't help with engineering to build a prototype for uh, Oxygen Constrator, which is open source. So we have published our design mostly uh, a year ago. And the reason for that, I think the other panelists already described why we need oxygen concentration. I, I'm going to skip to the next slide. So what we built initially was uh, called something called Apollo V2. Uh, the goal was to enable people around the world to build a prototype as soon as possible. Focus was on simplicity and speed of build. We want to do uh, a project that uses low cost materials that everyone can buy from uh, the local hardware store and a few specialized sources like Zeolite. We want to have a flexible open source concentrator and uh, the cost was very low. Uh, aspiration target is $200 for 15 liters per minute at 8%. Um, and we have reached maybe 260 uh, around that without a compressor. So right now uh, we are focusing on Apollo V4, which is an improved version, which has improved electronics with a focus on being a medical device. So the first goal is saf safety, meaning detecting all the failure scenarios, detecting if a valve stops working, if a wire comes off, uh, if there's something wrong with the zeolite, the concentration drops below a certain level. The second uh, goal we have is ease of use. We want to make sure that uh, we have a large touch screen for uh, doctors and nurses to see what's going on. If something wrong is going on, we want to see the uh, concentration of oxygen clearly displayed and also the number of hours that the device has worked so far. For that, we have built a control box, which uh, as I said, has a touch screen, is open source model or PCB design. Importantly, uh, the control box has self-tuning. So uh, if there are variations in the way the zeolite is behaving, uh, or if there's some kind of contamination going on from water, or if the design parameters change, for example, the air pressure drops from the compressor, the device will tune itself so you can uh, 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 maximize the oxygen concentration for a given uh, set of constraints over time. We have demonstrated integration with uh, SPO2 oxygen oximeter Bluetooth sensor. So the one innovation we have is that the uh, oxygen concentrator will slightly adjust the timings. So it will deliver the right amount of oxygen to the patient and not more. Uh, this is actually a big problem because some patients cannot take 100% oxygen, I mean 95% oxygen, which is typical from those oxygen concentrators. Finally, we have a lot of focus and a lot of uh, uh, innovation on a self-contained enclosure, which has built-in compressor. We have a uh, innovative multi-stage moisture removal, uh, and uh, the whole design is uh, focused on noise reduction at around 45, 40, maybe 43 dB audio uh, airflow and thermals. So that's about it. Uh, collaborators uh, are uh, fun is, the funding is done by Quick Space and volunteers from Health Engineering, Microsoft Garage, and Public Invention. And also, uh, we, we have partners such as OxyKit. So, this is just a conclusion slide. Uh, we want to build uh, a variation of this prototype focused for the uh, Indian market. So, we are uh, looking to collaborate with people over there. We actually were already collaborating with a few teams in India around. Uh, identifying a uh, um, Indian supply chain driven bill of materials. And we also want to be compliant with the non newly published uh, 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 regulations from the Indian government on how an oxygen construction needs to look like. That's it. Thank you. That's all I have. These are our partners. Any Great, questions? Thanks. 
Adi. Um, just sort of around the um, moisture removal aspect, what's sort yes. of your approach on that problem, which is quite a common one? Oh, yes. Uh, it's actually, a, we invested quite a lot based on the learnings from Apollo V2. So essentially, it's a multi-stage moisture, moisture removal. So uh, we have, first of all, a cooling loop, of course, and a water trap. And after that, we have another uh, water uh, condensing uh, column chamber, which is uh, uh, working in a bi-directional fashion. So in, uh, this actually is coupled with the actual tanks. So in one stage, as the compressor goes to the compressor, uh, to, the, to the zeolite tanks, the remaining of the water is trapped. And as the air is exhausted, we remove the water droplets from there. So we actually use the uh, uh, exhaust to uh, remove the water. So that's kind of the second stage of moisture removal. In addition to that, in between those two, we have uh, some um, uh, desiccant that will uh, help remove even more, more moisture from the system. Great. The desiccant so... was there already in Apollo V2. Uh, what we are adding in Apollo V2 for is the second, uh, the extra um, moisture, it's the second stage for moisture removal. Great. So um, Joshua Pierce asks, do you have any mass or energy measurements for water removal? Uh, well, they're, they're quite significant, especially in a country like India, when you have a lot of moisture. And um, our concentrator is not yet tested for high temperatures that are typically encountered over there. So uh, what we are testing is right now is around 20 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Uh, a big challenge is when you have a higher temperature, like 30 to 35, maybe 40 C outside, uh, moisture removal becomes very difficult. And then you need to offset it with uh, 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 consumable, which is uh, the, um, uh, you know, the um, desiccant chambers. Great. Um... What kind of compressor are you using? Some, did someone ask if you're achieving 15 liters per minute at 90% concentration, is that right? So right now we are target 70% uh, oxygen concentration uh, with the current design. Uh, we, want, we, we are confident we can reach 90 plus 93%. Um, the compressors are uh, essentially oil-based compressor at the moment, plus some additional filtering that we have uh, after that. So. Uh, that's what we currently, the, actually, in fact, Apollo is designed to work with also with an external compressor, so you don't have to uh, put it as part of design, so you just hook it up to a compressed airline. Great. Awesome. Thanks, Adi. Um, 